Hi, it's Paul Maunder from Production Expert. In this video, I'll be using Zynaptic Morph 3 to create some very interesting sounds which could be useful in sound design. In Morph 3, there are plenty of new additions, and we'll touch on some of these in this video, but we'll start with the core functions. Morph takes two inputs and creates hybrid in-between sounds. Let's take a look. In this session, I have the sound of a blackbird on this track, and a continuously running engine sound on another. I have an instance of Morph 3 on the track with the bird song. The audio on the track acts as the main input, input A. Input B, or aux in, in this case is fed by a pre-fade send from my other track, and Morph receives this via the sidechain input. In fact, input B can be set to receive its input from either the sidechain signal, or from this section which is new in Morph 3 called the modeler. We'll get to this shortly. If you're completely new to Morph, the morphing itself is controlled via this XY area by moving this little target. Moving it vertically from A to B, or vice versa, adjusts the Morph index. You'll hear a gradual morphing going from one sound to the other. Moving it horizontally, you'll adjust the Morph crossfade. So this is a crossfade between two different morphing transitions. On the left side, the Morph starts out at source A and shapes the sound to become B, and on the right, the morph starts out at B and shapes it to become A. The important thing to remember is vertical movements are morphing, horizontal movements are crossfades, and the results will sound different on the left rather than on the right. Let's try it. One thing which has a big effect on the way the sounds are actually morphed is the algorithm. The Morph user manual gives specific descriptions over exactly what each of these does, but it's probably easiest just to experiment. There are some new algorithms in Morph 3. Imprint Smooth, Imprint Crystal, Interweave V3, and Enharmonic. Also, in Morph 3 Pro, which is the version I'm using here, we have Fusion and Sonance. Let's try Imprint Smooth. Imprint Crystal. You can hear the effect that the algorithm has on the sound. How about Sonance? We'll take a look at another example now. How about a cat and a helicopter? you can create all kinds of interesting combinations. I'll try morphing a chiming clock with a horror drone. How about a hammer with a different type of drone? That's quite interesting. I'll try another algorithm, fusion. The gamma control reduces the dynamic range of the morphing, a bit like a compressor. There's a reverb over here too. So far, I've used the aux in, which of course requires the B input to be fed from another track. An alternative to this is the new modeler section which I mentioned earlier. This essentially acts as a type of file player, allowing you to drop a file onto it that you want to act as the B source. You can also load a file from factory presets, which I'll do now. Let's go for modular data chaos. We also have to switch the input source here. 
Nice, let's try another one. I should just wait for it to load. There we go. Nice. Moving on to another example, the sound of a chimpanzee. Once again, I'm using the modeler as the B input. Crazy. There's also a factory preset section. I'll try this first robot voice setting. And robot beat. How about a chiming clock with another one of the robot voice presets? Morph 3 also works really well for morphing and contorting voices. Here's a voice recording. I think the message from the top of doing the right thing does make you then... I'll activate the plugin. And again, we're going to use the modeler as the B input. I'll try this door file. I think the message from the top of doing the right thing does make you then think to impress the new things. And I think if your gut feeling is something um, should be done differently, or you feel something um, is right to do in you. Trying another file, perhaps Grand Piano String Scratch Loop. I think the message from the top of doing the right thing does make you then think and switching to another one of the plugin presets. How about voice grind metal being? Another example, we've got an Aztec death whistle feeding input B and a cinematic bass drop on input A. There's A and B or anywhere in between. How about the interweave v2 algorithm? With some reverb. There's a mode section in the modeler which affects how the file gets played back. I'll try switching it from RMS to peak. And I'll just run that sound one more time. Well, there's lots you can do with Morph 3, and it's really best to download it for yourself, try out the demo, and experiment with it. For creative sound design, it's a great plugin, and one which opens up lots of possibilities for creating really unique sounds. For more information, visit the Production Expert blog, or go to zynaptic.com. Thanks for watching.